Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's Fun Scroll Saw Project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good. I've already got all the pattern printed out, prepped, and attached to our material with clear packing tape. The entire project is in my hand, and it's going to consist entirely of one quarter inch material. And the design in question is going to be a nice springtime scene. Now, spring is fast approaching here in 2024, hopefully sooner rather than later. I am not a winter person. Once we get through the hustle and bustle of Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm ready for it to be spring in summer again I will freely admit that I am a summer person but really really cool the scene in question is going to pick some birds out in a tree and you can see it looks like it is blooming in the springtime they are feeding their little birdies there and this is going to be the main bulk of the scroll saw work in this piece of one quarter inch piece here and you see it's made into a frame that Steve likes to do there's going to be some accent pieces in it as well here so it's going to give the project a little 3d appearance which I like and we're going going to use acrylic craft paints and spray paints to bring this project to life. The middle layer there has the sun in it and we'll paint that a nice yellow color and then everything else will be hidden once everything is glued together. And then the backer board here is just one solid piece of one quarter inch material and I've already masked off some of the area with blue painters tape. You can pick up blue painters tape readily available at the home centers to where we will spray paint this blue to depict the sky and the outdoors where the birds are in the tree and I'm gonna do this part of the project first that way during the whole scrolling process the backer board will have time to dry and be ready when it is time for everything to be assembled but there's a lot of versatility in a scroll saw pattern like this in the pattern pack you download Steve Good actually has an option to where you do not use a backer board and you can go get a kind of clear piece of glass or acrylic that has a blue tint or texture to it and put it as the backer board and hang it in a window to give it kind of a stained glass look so lots of versatility with every scroll saw pattern you pick up and that's why I continue like doing scroll saw projects and still find the tool so versatile even to this day since everything is prepped and prepared let's get started and as I said we're gonna begin by spray painting the backer board here a nice blue color and setting it aside to dry and then we will head over to the drill press and drill out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting as well as the bird's eyes. And there's not very many internal cuts in this project, just enough to give the project some great detail. But now over at the scroll saw we'll begin scrolling and I'm beginning with this piece here that has the sun in it. And then we will proceed to cut out all of the birds and their wings in those pieces and you'll see that I have my little parts bin beside me to keep up with all these small parts to make sure I don't lose any of them. I am using a number five ultra reverse tooth blade for all the scrolling on this project and it will cut through all of the one quarter inch material we are using exceptionally well with minimal chip out. If you guys would like to try this project, it's available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. And this is one of his newer designs for the spring season. But now I am working on all of the internal cuts which make up the bulk of the scroll saw work on this project. As always, I will take my time and let the blade do the work. But it does not take me long to do all these internal cuts. I think all in all, it took me around 25 minutes for all of the scroll work here. And now we can release the two layers here by trimming them out to their final sizes here. But it will not be all of the scroll saw work. We will be back for one more cut over here. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. But now that all of the scroll work is done for now, we can come over and remove the pattern from the pieces and get ready to sand. And I will be sanding with 180 grit Klingspore Woodworking Shop sandpaper and my Vibrating Palm Sander for the two big pieces here. I'll sand the front and back sides. And for all of the smaller pieces that were in the bin, I opted to sand all of them by hand. And I just took my time here and got the front and back side of all the pieces using small circular motions. 
but once all of the sanding was done, it was time for painting. And I will not bore you guys with all of the painting process. Just everything got several coats here to make sure everything was covered. And I was doing other stuff in the workshop while I was waiting for the pieces to dry. And this is the same acrylic craft paint that my mom uses on her ceramics and the same paint that I used to paint all the models that I 3D print on the 3D printers. But after everything was painted and it dried thoroughly, it was time for assembly. And I used medium grade CA glue and activator. And even though CA glue basically cures and bonds instantly, I still like to use clamps and give it time to fully cure before removing the clamps and proceeding to the next layer of the glue up. But after this piece is glued up and it has fully cured and I remove the clamps here, it will be time to go over to the scroll saw for the final time and flush trim the piece to its final size. And I will still be using that same number five ultra reverse tooth scroll saw blade. And from this angle, you can see the angle that the scroll saw is on and it greatly reduces shoulder and neck strain for hours upon hours of comfort scrolling. But now that all the scroll work is done, I will go over and lightly sand all four sides on the belt sander here. And then it will be time for the final glue up. Again, using CA glue. And I'm just gluing all the pieces in place and pressing them home. And I will still set this aside once all the pieces are glued on and let it dry for around five minutes before applying a finish. And for a finish, I use my standard of Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. And after giving it several coats and that dried, the project was complete. And here we have the completed springtime bird scene cut out completely on the scroll saw and it finished up amazingly well with some very nice and creative 3D details in it to really make the project cool and stand out. Thank you Steve Good for another fantastic pattern from your pattern catalog. This project finished up amazingly well and keep in mind it's one of his newer pattern offerings if you guys wanted to go and try this project yourself. I just of course downloaded the PDF pattern pack and printed out the project to use in today's video. It took me around 30 minutes to scroll this project out from start to finish. It's not a very complicated pattern. It's just with the nature of everything, how stuff needs to line up. You just need to be as loyal as you can to your cut line. And of course, take your time and let the blade do the work. And I finished this project just how Steve Good depicted it in the pattern pack you downloaded. I painted the birds red, the sun yellow, the nest brown, and the backer board, which all this material here is one quarter inch material. I painted that blue. And what I like, Steve suggests in the blog post where he done on this project is not even use quarter inch material for the backer board. Go and find a piece of translucent blue material like glass or acrylic to put behind it to where you can hang it in a window and let the natural sunshine shine through in the mornings and afternoons. I think that would take a project like this to the next level and be very creative. I unfortunately don't have none of that material on hand. Another material I don't have on hand is 1 8 inch material. Steve did suggest doing all the wings for the birds in 1 8 inch material. Material. Again, I don't have none of that, but I think it still looks great with the one quarter inch material there for the accent wings to really give this project a nice creative and 3D look to it the more you look at it. And of course, I finished it just how Steve Good had it in his pattern pack as I said but you can always go the extra mile with projects like this you could paint the tree branches the buds on the trees the flowers and everything and even paint the frame here to make it look like you're looking out your window in the morning with your cup of coffee or tea and seeing the beautiful sunrise as the birds forage for food for their little chickadees down here in the nest and I like that it features red birds of course again you can paint these any way you want them or use exotic or hardwoods to use the natural colors in those but what I like about the Redbirds is 
my family's belief is, and some others that I've talked to, it's their belief as well, is that when you see a red bird out in your yard or up in the tree or on your fence on your property, that just represents a loved one coming back from heaven to visit with you for a little bit. If we're quiet out in the yard and they land and start pecking the ground looking for food or something, we'll say, oh, there's grandma or grandpa coming to visit with us for a while and check on us. I don't know how it is in other cultures. That's just how we believe here or anywhere else around the world for that matter. I don't know how that culture would be with the representations of the birds and everything. But really, really cool. I had a lot of fun in this project and I hope you guys like watching me make this project. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. As always, links to contact me as well as all my social medias will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. Spring is fast approaching and I am looking forward to those longer days where, you know, it's light. Later on in the afternoon, it gets dark around 8 p.m. and that also means that summer concerts are right around the corner. That's about all for this one. And remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.